How's it going? Good. How's it going? Good. Very good. I like that you say our full name. Yeah. Pops our magazine. Exactly. It's uh, how I've always known you guys. So, so we got to keep, right. keep it formal. Exactly. Um, so the premise of this video is Victoria sort of going to extreme lengths to get a guy's attention after he changes his status on Facebook. What do you sort of feel some of the pluses and minuses of social media are? Um, I always tried to fight social media when I was in high school or in middle school through high school. I never had a Facebook or a MySpace. Most I did, I was in a band, so we had one. Um, I just don't like the idea of putting your uh, adolescent self up. So that because I mean, you could probably go back and see so much of, of like all what, what my friends did, what everybody did back when they were in high school. You know, uh, I, I heard from somebody that you know in. 20, 30 years, our president will have had a Facebook page when he was a kid. So, I mean, like, think, think about that. So I tried to fight it for such a long time, but now I'm really starting to see the benefits, you know. Uh, with, with Twitter and Tumblr, I'm able to reach out to people that I never thought I'd be able to reach out to. I'm able to get information right as it's happening. And I think that's really a, a miraculous kind of thing. I think it's, uh, it's amazing, and I think that we really need to use it uh, to our advantage. I think that it's not something that should be wasted, you know, just... Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to find a good word, you know, just hanging out on Facebook, just doing right. whatever you want to do. Um, I think that it, it should be used for very uh, educational and um, helpful purposes. And I think that we're getting there. I think that it's a good, it's a good thing, social media. Yeah, I think so. Um, do you have any advice for people who are using social media? A lot of times people, there are misunderstandings. People read things and they think it means something other than what it was intended. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's very hard over the internet to detect certain, you know, uh, to detect sarcasm and little nuances that are more easily, uh, they're, they're easier to pick up when speaking to somebody. Um, I think the best way to do it is to just remain straightforward and just keep going and, you know, even if the joke is funny, maybe, uh, maybe hold off on it because there's been a couple of things that, you know, maybe I've tweeted that it's, it's gotten lost in communication. So you really have to keep straightforward with what you're thinking and writing. Got it. Um, so you guys are shooting a music video, it's different than working on set. Can you sort of give me an example of how things are similar or different from your on-set experience versus your location experience on a video? Oh, well, uh, just like uh, any movie or a television show that you work on, you know, there's usually, there's a set sort of, one more time, sorry, I'm going to start off with this. Um, with Victorious, we shoot primarily on, a at the Nick on Sunset soundstage um, here in beautiful California. Uh, but when you're working on a movie or, or certain other TV shows that need more locations, they'll bring it out and they'll find different places. It's called being on location. Um, so for today's music video, we are in downtown LA and uh, we're going to be running around streets, uh, streets that we couldn't uh, make up, streets that we couldn't build on our soundstage. So it's, uh, it's great. We get to go. I've never been down this area before. Um, I saw you uh, right in your board. Yeah, I got a skateboard over there. It's just uh, we have some empty streets. I, I decided why not. I had it in the back of my car anyway, so uh, maybe we'll even use it in a music video. Who knows? Yeah.